Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cutty Eats. Today, we're actually going to Lee and Shin. A lot of you, based on where you follow me from, may not have heard of this. This is very similar to a Panda Express, um, seemingly located more in the Midwest region. Um, so it's just going to come in a little bag. And then you've got your standard quick Chinese takeout fast food. Um, options on how you would like to. So this one's two entrees because this is the cracked pepper chicken and a gochujang beef. Well, these are their limited time items. I did also opt to upgrade to the fried rice. I know pretty standard is the um, white rice or brown rice with a quick upcharge. And I said, let's do it. got myself a plain black tea and I think we're ready to go in so what I do want to do first let's go for the gochujang that's a cauliflower and a couple of other vegetables in there so I'm going to try and get a good bite of a few things and get a beef on there as well <clears throat> so you got a good group hmm Together, I do really like that flavor. And the beef is a a good texture. There's almost a gritty grittiness to the gochujang sauce. Um, this provides a really good texture. So I'm gonna go for the cracked beef now. Over here we've got just a lot of snow peas. It looks like or the the cracked pepper chicken. Um, maybe a little bit of <clears throat> um, veggies, but the chicken does look like it's. Mm. You can certainly taste the pepper in that. A little bit of that. Just some big pieces. But, hmm. Chicken itself is really good. Um, as I mentioned, I'm washing this down with that unsweetened black tea. It does taste pretty good. And then someone come from the south who uh, is much a bigger fan of the sweetened variety. I do like it. Um, I'm having a good time with all of this. The fried rice, let me take a look at that. Um, pretty standard veggie fried rice. Looks like it's mostly eggs and bean sprouts. Um, real good. Um, I may do be just because I'm biased on uh, Chinese food. But I'm kind of go at it, you know. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the peppers and onions from the chicken. And you'll take it all together. We got some red peppers, one of the cauliflower, green beans. Um, something I did when I know the gochujang drink sauce isn't too hot. I can definitely feel a kick. So if you're kind of right on the border of if you like spice or not, but you can't hang on too well. I think this will be fine. I 
Um, I would say the crab pepper chicken is really the one you need to watch out for more. Not so much in a heat wave, but I mean, it is loaded up with pepper. So you should just, you know, make sure you like it. It's not a light peppery taste. And I'd wager this is about as far as um, um, ethnic Chinese food as you can get. This is Americanized as all get out, but. This is good. Looking down there actually looks like I may have eaten all the vegetables at this point. Um,
We have one good piece of the Gochu Jang beef left. And a, a bit of a, some scoop of fried rice. But I'm just going to finish it off for today's episode. I was a fan of both entrees. I would give it to the Gochu Jang beef. Um, I think anytime you're looking to step out from just a double orange chicken order, um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my fortune cookie here. We're going to see. Don't worry about money. The best things in life are free. Fortune cookie numbers are going to be 6, 16, 18, 21, 24, and 34. I think that'll officially finish the <laughs> this week's episode um thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe follow me um on social media at kid eats uh facebook instagram twitter even on youtube the patreon is set up um if you'd like to donate um but the most important thing you guys can do tell your friends share it um keep it going and then just tune in next time so i will be seeing you guys then thanks guys have a good one